video, I will be teaching you how to do a backflip. So, first, to do a backflip, it's highly recommended that you should be able to jump pretty high. So, for just like a minute, just try warming up, just jump like this. And just keep jumping like this. Jump as high as you can. And then once you're feeling warmed up, then try jumping like this. And like, you know, tucking, but not going all the way. You're not like turning around. So just jump as high as you can. And grab, pull your knees up to your, pull your knees up to your chest. And if you're scared, to do a backflip, I would suggest getting a bunch of pillows or a mattress or something, and then just like I'm gonna do like a, a cartwheel until you get the courage to go all the way back, and then slowly take off um, take off layers of cushion. So what you really want to make sure that you do when you're doing your backflip is. You want to throw your arms all the way up because if not, you won't be able to you won't be able to tuck fast enough. So I I taught a few friends at school how to do a backflip, and they always want to just bring their arms up right here, and they they can't make it all the way around and back onto their feet. They always land like this, or sometimes they even land on their face, and then they're even more scared to do a backflip. And then they don't even want to just make sure that you go all the way up with your arms when you jump and try and jump high, not so far back, more up and then around rather than like way back here. So I'll show you what a backflip looks like. So what I do is I take a few deep breaths right before I do it. I kind of get focused and you have to jump as high and as hard as you can. And you just get really focused. Take a few, few deep breaths. Okay, like that. So if you don't jump high, but you can tuck fast enough, you'll land really, really low like this. Like in my first backflip progression before I hurt my neck, I used to always land like this because I would never jump high enough, but now I land more with my chest up, my legs a little bit more straight because I jump more high and then around rather than just around and a little bit high. So I'll show you one more time. Take a few deep breaths, get super focused. and try and land in the, about the same spot as you start. So like, I start right about on the edge of this darker shade of gray uh, mat, and watch where I end. I land about right here, which is about just one foot in between, and if your knees or ankles hurt um, after doing a few backflips, take a break because if you're not like a gymnast or anything, your knees and ankles, they're not strong enough to, uh, to withstand the blow of like hitting the ground super hard, especially if you're doing it on hard surfaces like concrete or even this. I, I just put a mat on top of a carpet which is on concrete and it's still pretty hard. So. I'll show you one last time how to do a backflip. Okay. Hope that uh, hope that really helped you with your backflip. Um. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see ya.